Hello guys, my name is Deep Chiring Lepcha. On behalf of the entire IM Editor team, welcome to the short video tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn how to download, install and work with basic GNS3 setup. Let's begin. Here we have got Google Chrome. You can use any of the browsers such as Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox. I'm going to double click on Google Chrome. It opens up the web page gns3.com. Type in the URL bar and uh, it opens up GNS3 website. Just click on free download and it opens up sign up page. You can actually sign up with your existing email account. I have already created my credentials so I'm going to log in with my uh, personal email ID personal.ddd1 at the rate gmail.com and I'm going to type my password and just click on login and continue it opens up GNS3 login page here you can see the three versions of GNS3 Windows Macintosh and for Linux I'm going to download for Windows package just click on download it opens up new page on the left bottom side there you can see the file has been downloading click on show all there you can see the file size is 54.5 MB and it will take around 19 seconds 1 9 19 seconds and it's been downloaded okay go back to the website GNS3 uh, go back to the page There you can see the menu tab on the right side. Just click on the menu tab. There you can see the software tab. Just click on it. Here you can see the version 2.1.8 and we are going to download VM for optimal performance. That means virtual ma machine. Just click on download. There you can see VirtualBox, VMware and VMware ESXi flavor. I'm going to download VMware Workstation VM for virtualization. Just click on download. It opens up page. There you can see the download. Just click on show all. It will take around 4 minutes and 323 MB of file size is there for VMware Workstation. It's downloaded again. Minimize it. Click on OK, start and go to downloads folder. There you can see 2.1.8. Just double click on it to install. Click on yes to allow the installation. Here you can see the Microsoft Universal C runtime error. To fix this error, click on OK. It opens up web page for C runtime. And scroll down a little bit for the supported package. Just scroll down, scroll down. And there you can see the Windows 7 all supported x64 based versions if you don't know then right click on the computer and go to properties there you can see the system type is 64 bit operating system so you're going to download the package of 64 bit operating system just close this window this is the one click on the download package okay opens up the page for C runtime you just have to scroll down a little bit to see the download tab scroll down okay there you can see click on download okay downloading and it's been downloaded just click on show all just click on this package to install and please bear with me just click on yes to allow the update and it's going to install the C runtime update that supposed supports GNS3 installation. Before when we were installing GNS3, it was not working, right? Now after installing this package, when we're going to install the GNS3, no error are going to be there. Okay, installation completed. Click on close. Minimize this and okay there you can see the file we have installed this package now try to install gns3 again yes there you can see it's opening up successfully 
click on next and I agree scroll down I agree accept the license click on next there these are the packages you're going to install click on next there click on next and install it's going to extract all the GNS3 packages and all the supported files and packages are going to be installed in this um, GNS3 installation it's going to take on its own for the first time you have to just be connected with the internet so my internet has been connected to this uh, PC so no errors are going to form just click on next win pcap installation I agree installation just click on install and click on finish um, click on yes to install Wireshark again try it okay it's not working fine Joe so just click on no to skip that file installation and uh, just wait for a while okay installing solar winds installer that means it's extracting the solar winds file click on install it's not necessary to install windows solar winds registration okay for registration just type in your email id for solar winds click on continue it's not necessary to install solar winds but uh, in my case it's okay fine just click on next i accept track down and next and next again okay Inst installing solar winds okay done with the installation for solar winds click on next there click on no I'm going to just skip this one and start GNS3 just click on finish now it's going to open up GNS3 setup this is the one just bear with me so we're going to install router operating system in this GNS3 for now I'm going to select uh, say this is an error just ignore it I'm going to select uh, the local server and if you are a beginner this is the uh, this is the one you have to select it 127.0.0.1 and click on next okay connection successful click on next this is the error just ignore it click on ok okay if you want to install or go for this step you have to go for VMware installation so I'm going to just skip it I don't want it and even you don't have to install this just close this solar wind tab close this window and go to start computer go to C drive there is GNS3 folder I have already copied all the operating systems over here so go to iOS I'm going to copy these two files on my desktop so that I can integrate these operating systems within my GNS3 click and refresh go to GNS3 edit go to preference then go to iOS routers within Dynamips click on new select the file from the desktop go to desktop there you can see the file 3725 series of the router iOS just click on yes to import it click on next click on next again and assign 192 MB for NAT support network address translation support as well click on next and there you can see slot 1 one interface and another interface that means four interfaces are being actually assigned next click on idle PC finder if you uh, do this that means it's going to use less CPU processing speed and it's going to work fine if you don't do this it's going to eat up your all processor speed like hundred percent of your processing speed okay done with that just click on OK and click on finish there you can see click on apply and then click on ok done with the importing iOS click on file and new topology so new lab would be fine the name for the new lab right 
click on OK. Then click on the router icon and select installed appliances from the drop down, drop down list. This is the one we have installed. So drag and drop. Drag and drop again. I'm going to use two routers for basic communication so that uh, we can see that um, the GNS3 is working fine. So I'm going to connect these routers with the cables fast 30 slash 0 and fast 30 slash 0. It's been connected. Uncheck it. Uh, click the device labels. That means interface information fast 30 slash 0. Select these two routers and bring it to the corner side. Console, it's not getting up right because it's turned off. So to turn on this device, you're going to use play sign. There you can see the device are being turned up. Click on console. That means you have got two consoles, one for router one and another for router two. From these consoles, you can actually configure these devices, right? So for router one, this is this uh, this one is the console. We are going to assign IP address and we are going to uh, verify the basic configuration and reachability. Global configuration mode, interface pass then zero slash zero and IP address would be one ninety one state one dot one class C slash twenty four. No shutdown and assign IP address. Show IP interface brief. IP address has been assigned and it's manual up. Go to router two. This one is router two and show IP interface brief no IP address has been assigned there you can see unassigned IP addresses so go to global configure terminal global configuration mode and interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and assign an IP address for 192.168.1.2 for this interface and 255.255.255.0 no shutdown turns on the interface click on uh, type in end and write saving the configuration from RAM to NVRAM show IP interface brief to verify the interface information there you can see the IP address has been assigned and let's try to ping from router 2 to router 1 one into one state one dot one and it's getting successful reply from router 1 that means connection establishment is getting successful closing the consoles to turn off the device you can just select click on red button over there to stop the topology and click on close yes closing the gns3 so this is how you set up install and download gns3 with basic setup thanks for watching guys